Hey guys, uh, today I'm just doing a pet commission request from a family member and she had a very specific viewpoint of seeing her um, cat through the trees and I know that your eyes perceive things in ways that you can't do in a two-dimensional format. But I figured that this would be a really good opportunity to use paper toll to artificially create depth and I was hesitant to start this because I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to pull it off and so I decided to do a sketch in my sketchbook to get the composition in what I thought that maybe she was imagining and then planning out all the different pieces that were going to be layered. I wanted this to be extra layered with three levels instead of my usual two and so the bits on the forefront I did in yellow, and then middle ground in red, and then background in blue. So this was going to be pretty much three sheets of paper <laughs> that I was going to cut layers out from, <clears throat> and then stack them. But I think it all worked out in the end, as you will see. So if anyone's been watching the vlogs, I feel like there is a vast difference between last week's vlog and this week's vlog, where last week's vlog I was doing a whole lot of work and not actually um, receiving anything from it. And then this week's vlog, I became intensely mired in a, a bunch of opportunities and filling my whole day with tasks that I, I really didn't think that I could fill entire days. And I still am not actually getting things done as quickly as I'd like. I'm like just suddenly so busy. I'm sure everyone's kind of wondering how the flea market went <laughs> since my vlogging weeks end on Saturdays and the flea market was on Sunday. Short story is the flea market didn't go well at all. Um, well, okay, it went pretty much as well as any other <laughs> um, in-person sales opportunity that I've ever had. I don't know um, what it is. I think a lot of it is just not having a large enough audience in any situation to reach out the people who I need to reach out to. And the flea market was extra risky because the people who are going to flea markets are not the people who are looking for uh, contemporary new art. So pickings were going to be really slim and they completely were. Although the foot traffic was quite good, it's going to be a more diluted audience. I'm not going to get the same people at a flea market that I would at a craft fair. People who are looking to see something new and support an up-and-coming artist. Like those are the people who go to craft fairs. The difference is I can afford to do craft fairs all the time. Um, which is why I've never tried any of the gigantic huge Vancouver art fairs because they charge two thousand dollars for a booth and I wouldn't even be able to bring enough artwork to make more than $2,000. Even if I thought I could make anything close to $2,000 at an art fair. Like that's just a really huge expense and a really huge target to <laughs> want to sell artwork for. I just don't think that I'm there yet. I don't think I'm that popular. So I've never tried those. Even a craft fair locally that has little to no foot traffic is $175 a table and so I really found this flea market adventure to be a really pivotal huge um, moment for me because it would be a regular weekly opportunity to make in-person sales but it's only $24 a table it doesn't seem like too much to ask to sell enough artwork to pay for a $24 table. You know what I mean? Uh, especially since I do have some leftover prints. A lot of them look amazing. I have um, framed $20 sketches. I have one show-off piece that I don't expect to sell, but it'd be nice if I did. <laughs> that would be totally worth it. And I have all my little like, zines there, some coloring pages, like really small, low priced items. It doesn't seem too much to ask. Uh, it didn't really go very well at all at the flea market. I sold like 
21 dollars worth of things and people were just like hey that's not bad but at the same time like okay well the cost of the items take out a huge chunk of that because i'm selling everything pretty much at cost at the flea market except for my show-off item so <laughs> and that's not even counting the you know eight hours or so eight or nine hours of work being there which is work and you want to get paid for that because you could be using that time to be making something else and honestly I kind of did <laughs> I worked in my sketchbook for a lot of the time so that was good but but yeah so it went really really bad but at the same time it's it's a $24 table and I feel like I could lighten my load a bit to make it easier to carry the things and I found a bus route. It's a lot longer to get there and it requires shuffling from one bus to other which I wasn't originally willing to do but it would save me $30 so I'm gonna try again and I won't have that huge taxi ride you know cutting my profits so much into like a disastrous loss so maybe next time it will just be like a five dollar loss a ten dollar loss but through that i might gain a following i might attract more of a different audience to the flea market me the people who went there and saw me will bring new people who might actually be interested or i will learn from people what kinds of things would actually sell more because there were people who were asking for certain items that I didn't have, right? I just can't cope with the idea of giving up on this because I don't have another idea of how to do in-person sales. Because the online stuff doesn't really work. It doesn't work. And this last week I've seen the hustle that people are talking about when you're an artist full-time and just watching my days get filled up with an impossible number of tasks that I need or want to do and last week was pretty intense this week is significantly less intense <laughs> because um, I'm not you know doing so many drop-offs setups meetups um, I'm having more of a chill week because I wanted to focus more on making a YouTube video. And that's what's going on. And I really wanted to do this commission finally because it's been on my list for a long time. But also, um, it's pet sketching month on Patreon. We are doing pets. Um, I'm hoping to do a lot of exotic pets, especially, to branch out a little more. I, I don't get to do a whole lot of dogs, for example. And I'm thinking of doing a, like a free pet sketch day on uh, like Twitter or something like that as a, maybe a Twitch stream. I'm thinking of doing something like that in October. I haven't quite hashed out the details. So if you're not uh, following me on Twitter, you might want to do that, especially since sometimes I might post updates on there about videos if something isn't happening or late. I don't know. That's usually where I would go. <laughs> Otherwise, if you really want to see me draw a picture of your pet, come follow us on Patreon. I'm also super open for um, full watercolor illustrations right now. All that stuff is in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.